Hey, thank goodness the Most High um, is a God of truth. You know, when we look around the Bible, we see that he's the God of Israel and because of his tender mercies, we're not consumed. You know, he's the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of the living. And he has never forsaken us. Um, you know, you look at our people today. I mean, single moms, um, you know, our, our women haven't been taken care of, haven't been protected because we've been in captivity and the Lord weakened our mighty men. Now we're starting to come back. But. The true men among our people that will fight to the death that fear only the Heavenly Father and not men. And especially not our oppressor that's a tool the Lord used whose usage is now coming to an end. So fear the Lord. And um, again, realize that we must worship Him in spirit and truth. Just being Israelites, that's never worked. And you still have a lot of our brothers and sisters in Israel, especially our brothers. And really um, not reading the Bible at all and seeing, not reading Matthew chapter 3, verse um, 7 to verse 9, that don't think in your hearts to say, this is what John the Baptist told the wicked of Israel. The leaders, the, the ones that, you know, the, the religious leaders, the ones that followed traditions of men, which are religions, and not Christ, the ones that were in Israelite groups. And didn't follow the Heavenly Father, nor Christ, and rejected Christ to his face. You know what I'm saying? Arrogantly, wickedly. Um, instead of humbly realizing, okay, wow, he was breaking down scripture I've never even heard of or seen before, and I teach the Bible, so let me shut the hell up and up. No, that's not our people. Um, because the ones that are righteous, they're truly here. But majority of our people still have that pride that's a killer. And it's time to wake up and, you know, serve the God of Israel for real. Sitting there arguing about there's no J in Hebrew and these things. Are you that stubborn to realize that the Most High who beat us down and put us in captivity and scattered us in every nation on the earth except our homeland, Israel? We're a nation without a home. We're strangers, wherever we are. Don't belong there. And even in the lands that were given to us like Israel or even like the Americas, we're like heathen in that land. We, the nice parts of that land, we're not permitted to go. You know, Haiti's such a poor country. Like our brothers and sisters out there. And look, what, look, look how they suffer. They're still not rebuilt after an earthquake eight years ago, nine years ago. Yet, you look in the mountains with the beautiful views and vistas and everything. Gorgeous places you wouldn't even imagine exist in Haiti. See that mansion, you would, oh wow, the Mediterranean, you know, you, know you, you wouldn't even imagine, you don't even know, you know, California, you don't even know where it is, Miami, no. Haiti has some incredibly beautiful, fertile land, beautiful green, beautiful lush, beautiful tropical land, yet that's not where our people reside there. How come they never get killed? Any so-called Haitians try to go back? And I'm saying this for real, because our people, a lot of them are just hateful and evil, and they have to repent, or they will be destroyed. This isn't a game. This evil way of being playtime is over. We're the Lord's people, and we have to act like it, not talk about, we're Israelites. You know, we are the Israelites. You know, we, we, have, to, we have to embody Christ. We have to show in works that we serve the Heavenly Father in Christ. We have to let our light so shine before men and purge the wickedness in all of us rather than boasting and then not changing. That, the Most High is not mocked. Don't care what you call yourself. Don't care what the Lord calls you. You're not going to do evil and then get to is, being Israel your way out of it. All right? So time to wake up. Time to actually serve the God of Israel. And we can call him the God of Israel. We can call him the Heavenly Father, Jehovah, the Most High, um, the Ancient of Days. You know, our God, we can call him the Lord. Why? Because that's in the Bible. So follow the Heavenly Father. Stop following wicked men and the blind men of Israel that have always been leading our nation. And that's why we have a history riddled with suffering, captivity, oppression as it is this day.
But in this last time, like the Lord said in Deuteronomy 4, verse 30 and 31, we're going to be in tribulation. We're going to be in affliction in these last times. Still following idolatry when you jump up to the 27th verse, the Lord lets us know what's going to be happening to what exactly is happening to our people in these last times before it happened. Before we ever came into captivity in America. Before America even existed. Deuteronomy was written between, in, between 1450 and 1500 BC, approximately. You know, let's say um, 3,500 years ago. And we only came here 400 years ago. And we've been in captivity approximately 500 years. You know, we've been in oppression since Christopher Columbus. And, we, you know, we're starting to be rounded up and destroyed and overcome during the Renaissance and, you know, throughout Europe and the Middle East and different areas. You know, they call it the Spanish Inquisition, they have different names for it, but, you know, the time, the Middle Ages or the time that we had a little bit of power still had fragments of rulership and, you know, power in the earth, the white man came back. The Renaissance, rebirth, rebirth of the Edomites, the Greeks, Romans, their children came back into power after a thousand years. And what? Now it's time for us to get it right. This is the last call. This is the time right before the kingdom of heaven. Time to wake up. Because the Lord is bringing judgment even before judgment day. It's time to wake up. You, you, your dead body might be resurrected on judgment day for more judgment. So you can understand this is not a game. It's not something you can fake your way through or... Christian church your way through or Israelite group your way through. You have to serve the Lord. You have to worship the Most High as an Israelite in spirit and truth. And that's not just the not eating of pork or other least commandments. We have to do the greatest commandments, renewing our mind, being born again, and those things we need the Heavenly Father in Christ to be able to convert and truly change. To while in flesh and blood become spiritual and serve the Most High in spirit and truth and worship Him in spirit and truth and obey our Lord Christ, who the Heavenly Father set up as our King, as salvation, as our Redeemer, and also as His Word and wisdom and truth. Peace, beloved brothers and sisters.